Good afternoon. Welcome sa press briefing ni Presidential Spokesperson Ernesto Abella. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Rocky. Yes. First question will come from... Uh, yes, sir. What I'd like to do first is just uh, go ahead and give a, uh, a short summary of the okay, meeting, sir. and then we can entertain two or three questions okay, sir. at most. Okay. This afternoon, Secretary of State John Kerry met with President Rodrigo Roa Duterte over lunch, and they covered a few points. And I'd like to give you a brief summary of the points that were covered. First, it was a courtesy call. It was a very interesting lunch because they shared common interests. They talked about motorcycles and hunting. And Mr. Kerry talked about how he had a motorcycle and he had a funny incident regarding that. Second, they also affirmed the long-standing relationships, the relationship between the two countries, and stated in particular that there are 4 million Filipinos in the U.S., while well, there are at least uh, 500,000 Americans in the Philippines. Next, they also discussed common concerns, terrorism, crime, drugs, religious fanaticism, and maritime security. In relation, in relation to this, they also mentioned a menu of solutions. Next, the U.S. committed $32 million in training and services. Next, they also touched on the EDCA, and um, it was affirmed that whatever works for the Philippines will be what will work. Next, um, they also touched on climate change, and um, Mr. Kerry was uh, helpful in defining certain issues about the Paris Pact. And the president also responded appropriately when he said that the Philippines will work out just as long as everything is fair. Lastly, they also talked about um, John Kerry's involvement in the 1986 snap elections and the events that led up to it and afterwards. He mentioned how invested he was in the democratic practices in the Philippines. That's, that about sums it up. All right, thank you. We'll now entertain questions. Yes, first question will come from uh, Weng De La Fuente of Net25. Can't hear you. Microphone, please. <coughs> yes. Microphone, can you pass the Hello. microphone? Good afternoon, sir. Yes. Uh, Sir, uh, you mentioned about the $32 million uh, 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 dollars, uh, uh, promised by the United States. May, may we know uh, what will be the uh, focus of uh, the, this? Basically, uh, it will come in the form of trainings and stuff. Trainings. Sir, training for what? Um, law, enforcement. law enforcement. Sir, uh, what was discussed about the maritime dispute? Uh, did the president uh, mention to uh, Secretary Kerry uh, the position of the uh, Philippines and uh, what was agreed if, if there are things? There were no agreements regarding that except that the president did mention that whatever, uh, whatever talks we will engage in will begin with the ruling. That will be the foundation, the, the ruling regarding the area. Thank you, Wang. Joseph Morong, JMA7. Sir, as things stand now, China's been saying that no, um, before we talk to the Philippines, you have to abandon the ruling. But we have said that we are insisting on the, uh, we are following the rule of law and the uh, clause. This sounds like a stalemate. How are we going to move forward with this kind of position? It's not a stalemate. Uh, we, conversation will continue to proceed. There was an offer for the president to go to the United States for a state visit? Uh, there was no such thing discussed. Okay, Ted Tavera, Manila Tribune. Sir, was it discussed with Secretary Kerry on how to implement, uh, how to use the EDGA to implement the PCA ruling? Uh, there was no discussion regarding that. Those things are not, uh, they're not related, as Mr. Yasai mentioned earlier. The two are not related. Okay. Sir, follow up. Um, is there an assurance na hindi po makakabalik yung mga U.S. bases as ag as agreed in 1991, sir? Uh, there was nothing mentioned regarding the matter. Okay, thank you. 
So, pwede kayo mag-accept na isa pang question. So, you one more question? Okay. And, and you have then, to go to another uh, meeting. <laughs> yes, uh, Maricel Halili. Hi, sir. Good afternoon. Yes. Sir, on other issue about the National Security Council meeting right. this afternoon, what will be the agenda of the meeting? What are the topics to be discussed? Basically, I think there, first there will be a review of, uh, review of what is a uh, review and then uh, a, sum, uh, a summation. There's, the agenda is not that clear. Okay. okay. But uh, are you going to talk about the West Philippine Sea or the anti-drugs campaign? And did uh, the former president confirm their attendance? Um, I believe uh, the <laughs> I believe they will be in attendance. All of them, sir. <laughs> I believe uh, all who can will be there. <laughs> and what do we expect to hear from them, sir? Support. Mm -hmm. Support for for our Philippine efforts. I mean, at the end of the day, they're all presidents of the Philippines. Right? It will be a cooperative venture. I'm sorry, Secretary. May dalawa pang questions sa gusto humabol. Sige uh, po, basta related lang sa ano? Related sa pinag- Related yes, sir, sir, good afternoon, sir. Can you describe uh, how was the dialogue when the meeting, the feel? Because considering oh, yeah. that uh, during the previous and almost all the statements of uh, the <laughs> president, he's not a fan of the U.S. So uh, was there a positive uh, uh, exchanges? Um, I think we need to qualify what, you, what you're saying, that he was not a fan. He, is, he, in fact, he abides by the law and he does... And he does appreciate, uh, he, uh, we do appreciate the support that the U.S. has given us. It's just that there were certain incidents in our past, in our historical past, that he was pointing out. You know, we need to, for example, historically, he did mention it again about uh, the in 1521, how the relationship, how America, you know, and, uh, and the other foreign colonial powers actually inflicted a lot of, uh, uh, you know, um, historical pain upon uh, the, especially the residents of Mindanao. Thank you, Bombo. Le Laila Salaveria. Hopefully, last question na to, sir. <laughs> sir, at the DFA, Secretary Kerry spoke of the need to protect human rights. Okay. What did he say to President Duterte about it? And did he express alarm about the spate of extrajudicial killings in the country? The, it wasn't, there was no alarm that was mentioned there. Although, uh, what Mr. Uh, uh, the President, President Duterte did mention about his, the way he has been handling uh, the war against crime. Uh, and especially uh, narco, uh, the narcotic plague. How about uh, the Secretary of State? What did he say about it? He was listening very Sir, intently. Pwede pa daw mag-entertain. Ito na talaga <laughs> last question. <laughs> Joseph Morong. <laughs> Sir, si Secretary Kerry has been very vocal and major repetitive in saying that uh, we hope to see a process, I'm coding, we hope to see a process that will narrow the geographic scope of the maritime disputes and set standards for behavior mm -hmm. for contested areas. How are we interpreting this vis-a-vis -vis China's insistence on its nine dash line and control of some areas like Scarborough? Basically, uh, I, I'd, I'd like to take a cue from what he said earlier during the DFA. Uh, he said, let us not focus on confrontation, but let us focus on solution. Okay, thank and you I jo think that was very apt. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you, thank you, thank you Secretary. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. Thank you, Malacanang Press Corps. Back to our main studio sa Radio ng Bayan at PTV4.